In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a simple armature to the model of a car to allow simultaneous rotation of both front wheels. I'm going to open the car that I made in a previous tutorial. I'm going to toggle into quad view. I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel. And I'm going to add armature single bone. I'm going to the properties specific to the armature and I'm going to turn X-ray on. In the right view I'm going to press R to rotate and I'm going to enter a value of minus 90. If I go to the properties, general properties of the armature, we now have X rotation 90. I'm going to go to the object menu, apply rotation, and that resets it to zero. With the armature selected, I'm going to hold down shift and select the car. Control and P to make the car the parent. Now if I select the armature, the car is the parent, and anywhere the car goes, the armature will follow. Go into edit mode and turn x-axis mirror on. With the tail of the bone selected, hold down shift and press E to extrude, followed by X for the X direction, and extrude two bones. Select one of the bones and press, hold down alt and press P and disconnect the bone. If you press G to grab now, the bone is disconnected. I'm gonna go into object mode and select the front wheel. I'm gonna go into the object menu snap and cursor to selected and select the armature again go back into edit mode and select the bone and in the armature menu snap selected to cursor go into pose mode and click the bone constraints button add the inverse kinematics constraint and we have a single bone so the chain length is one Go to the properties of the bone and click the black triangle next to inverse kinematics. Scroll down, lock X, lock Y, and we're going to limit Z rotation from minus 50 to plus 50. And we'll put the stiffness about halfway. Now if I zoom in with the mouse wheel in the camera perspective, if I press G to grab the bone rotates only about the z-axis, plus and minus 50 degrees. To clear a pose, press A on the keyboard to select all bones. Go to the Pose menu, Clear Transform All. I'm selecting the opposite bone and I want to synchronize it. To do that, I'm going to click the Bone Constraints button and I'm going to add constraint, Copy Rotation. The target is the object whose rotation is going to be copied. In this case, it's a bone. So first I select armature, then a bone field comes up. Now the bone is on the right as we look at it, but in local to the car, it's bone left. It's copied its rotation. If I select our original bone, press G to grab, they are now synchronized. Now I want to uh, link the wheels to the bones, but before that, they are parented to the car. So I want to remove that relationship. Alt and P removes a parent relationship, but I want to clear and keep transformation, otherwise the wheel will move. Alt and P to remove a parent relationship, clear and keep transformation. Now I can set up the new parent relationship, hold down shift and select the bone, control and P to make a parent relationship and select bone, select the other front wheel, hold down shift, select the bone, Control and P to make the parent relationship and click bone. Now we can turn both wheels by grabbing the bone in pose mode. I'm going to do a quick animation. I'm going to set the total length of the animation to 50 frames. I'm going to go to frame one. I'm going to make the change, G to grab and insert keyframe rotation. I'm going to go to frame 50, make the change, G to grab insert keyframe rotation, rewind and play. I've also been experimenting with a slightly more complicated rig. I've added an extra bone and the two wheel bones copy the rotation of the new bone. Again we grab the bone in pose mode to rotate the wheels. 
In both cases, once the rig is finished, click the armature button and turn X-ray off. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the finish files at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.